Hello everybody, happy Sunday. How's everybody doing today? It is gorgeous out guys, it's so nice. Went to, <laughs> I went to the grocery store to get bread. That's all I needed was bread. No, there was no bread. There was nothing anywhere. It's, it's insane. But <clears throat> anyways, I'll try again tomorrow. I wanted to um, come on here and do a smoky look for you guys. I started looking back at some of the videos and I realized I've never used our smoky trio palette. And I'm like, you know what? That's what I'll do today. And I am going to go in with our Stay Matte Foundation in number three. And I just ordered it in two different shades. I'm going to try because this one's a little bit, I don't know. I don't think it's really my shade. I've been using it, but I don't think it's actually the shade that I really need. So I just placed a big order. I ordered a couple uh, different shades more in the Stay Matte. I ordered a couple of the VFX Pro, um, different shades in that. Um, so we'll see, because I don't, I don't know. This shade for me, I don't, it, it's just not my shade. I know it's not. But we're going to make it work, because I'm also trying to use it up now so that it doesn't get wasted. Okay, so I usually just put some on, I stop putting it on, and then I go in with a damp beauty blender, and I start to put that where I want it. And this Stay Matte Foundation, guys, don't be afraid of the word matte on this because if you have dry skin, because it actually really can be used by people with dry skin. Um, I would say unless you have a tremendous amount of like actual dry patches, you should definitely be able to um, use this. I have extremely dry skin and I'm able to use it and it looks really good. Um, there are some days when my, if my skin is super, super dry, and I have some dry patches, then I won't reach for this because I feel like if your skin's extremely super dry, that it um, it emphasizes all those dry patches. Um, I've noticed now that my face is starting to get a lot more texture to it and it's starting to become a lot more noticeable when I put foundation on. Um, so I'm trying to find the best type of foundation for my skin and still get full coverage. Um, the Stay Matte Foundation, guys, gives you full all day coverage, like all day. And it covers everything that I want it to cover. So I really, really like it. And like I said, if you do have dry skin, I would still highly suggest trying it. Um, because I really, really like it. And I really think that it still looks amazing even on drier skin. Now, of course, I do use... Um, I do use a damp beauty blender to put it on, which helps significantly. If I was to go on and put this on without the damp beauty blender, I honestly don't know what it would look like or how I would like it. Um, I probably wouldn't like it. The damp beauty blender just adds some moisture in to my skin as I'm putting this on. So that's why I do it. Okay, so. That is one light layer and it covers 
everything. It covers all my sunspots. It covers my, um, the little broken vessels in my face, everything. It covers everything. Now, this is a thicker formula foundation than some of our other ones. Um, so it is a much thicker foundation. Um, I do notice that it emphasizes a little bit more of my texture on my skin than some of the other foundations that we have. It does emphasize a little bit um, like my fine lines and my wrinkles and stuff. It does emphasize it a little bit more, but not enough to make me not want to use it, if that makes sense. Um, the other thing is I am out of concealer. If I had concealer, um, that would correct a lot of what you're seeing there. Probably, I don't know if you'll see it on camera, but um, I haven't been sleeping a lot. So my eyes are really dark and I have quite a significant um, amount of bagging under my eyes right now. So if I had concealer on, that would camouflage it a little bit better and it would look a little bit better. Um, but that's not the foundation's fault. So anyways, with that said, um, we are going to go in and set it lightly with some powder. Um, not too much. I'm going to use our BB powder in number one to set it. I don't go in with a lot of powder, guys. I'm not a big powder person. I literally just like tap enough on just to set it and that's it. Like, I just, I don't go crazy. It's just to set it, and that's it. You can see all that powder flying around. Okay, so let's start with our eye look, guys. And hopefully, you know, I just did my face. I should have done my face second. I wasn't thinking about that. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I probably should have, <laughs> should have gone in with my face last since I'm using black pigment. All right, I'm gonna go in with the black first and I am gonna put that in my crease and on my outer edge um, of my eye. And I'm going to start right in the center of my crease so I can avoid getting a lot of fallout. And then I'm going to start to bring it down. Now, everyone does their eyes differently. There is no wrong way or right way to do an eye look. You can put whatever you want, wherever you want, however you want. There's really no rules to make up, guys. There's guidelines, there's tricks and tips that people can give you. Um, I mean, obviously there's ways to, um, you know, make it look better if you're just starting out. But the only key that I would say that you really should follow is blending. Blending, blending, blending. You just don't want harsh lines. You want everything to look seamless. Um, but I mean, don't let someone tell you you can't put a dark crease, um, that you can't... Um, you know, you, you can't do an all dark eye or an all light eye. Um, you know, it's, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You just do what you want. You can create different looks. Um, That's how you come up with fun, interesting looks that maybe someone else hasn't done. You know, we there's so many looks out there that look exactly the same. Um, 
you know, they're identical. And why not just try and come up with something of your own, you know, like come up with a look that you, you will really, really probably love. And I'm going in with a clean brush, a fluffy brush, and now I'm going to go in and I'm just blending that. And you just want to keep blending, going back and forth and just blending that all out. And then same on this side. And black, the good thing about black is it goes pretty much with any color. Um, you could do, you know, you can do tans, you can do pinks, you can do all gray. Um, you could do a reddish uh, color on your lid with the black. I mean, the possibilities are pretty endless because black is such a neutral color and gray is such a neutral color. Um, you know, there is really no, there's really no set rules on what colors you can put with it. You could do a really dramatic smoky eye using all black if you wanted to. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in with that black and I'm going to put a little bit into the outer corner. Because my the predominant look, it's going to be dark. It's going to be a dark, dark, dramatic I look. Then once you put your lid color on, on the rest of your lid, then you're going to go back in and you're going to blend that out. And on my lid, I am going to go in, because I want to show you what you can do with the trio, I'm going to go in with the gray, the silver, gray, whatever color. Some say silver, some say gray. And now I'm going to pop that on the lid. Now you could leave the lid the way it was if you wanted to. Um, or you could add any color to your lid at this point. You could add any color. And now I'm just going back in and deepening up the outer corner again, making sure that we still have some of that black. And that's pretty much just going back and just going in and touching up and blending. You just want to keep blending. And then I'm going to take and just sweep away any product we have. Then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, okay, a little tiny brush, and I'm going to do that gray underneath. I'm going to take that down to my below. Actually, you know what? I'm going to mix 
a little black and a little gray. And take it underneath. And this, guys, is like a look that I wouldn't normally wear. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have anywhere to wear it to, but um, it's definitely more dramatic than I would ever wear. Um, but that's just me. Now, what you could do is you could go in with the white and go above your eye um, up in here, but I'm leaving it that way. I'm leaving it exactly the way it is. But I am gonna go in and I'm going to take some of that white and I'm gonna go into the inner corners of my eyes and I'm gonna place it there to give a little bit of lightness. To my eye. Okay, and then if you find it to be too much, then you can go in with either your pinky or, actually I'm just going to, and like I said guys, this wouldn't be like an everyday look, I don't think for anybody, but it would be more of a evening look, a party, maybe a wedding. Like somewhere where you would want really dramatic or more dramatic look to your eyes. And let me see. I am looking for my little tiny brush. I don't know about you guys, but you guys have so many brushes that when you go to get the one that you need you can't find it because you have so many and most of them are brushes I never use which is kind of ironic but okay so that is the eye look so we have the gray the black everything is blended really nicely our corners are blended I am not putting anything above here I'm leaving that um, so now I'm going to go in with mascara and I think I'm going to go in with our Zen mascara today. I'm going to go in with the Zen and our Zen mascara guys, that's the wand. It's like a rubber bristle. It's very blend, um, bendable and it has like a flat side and then a curved side to it kind of and I usually go in with the flat side and then I'll go in with the curl side the curved side to curl my lashes it's so nice out guys I can't get over how nice it is I um my son works um, at a grocery store and I'm like freaking out because everything is closing down except for grocery stores. So I'm like, oh God, just make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your face. You know, it's crazy. And then um, other people are going to be out of work for a while uh, because of this, especially like teachers and people that are in the education field. And they were talking about how, you know, so many kids depend on being at school for a safe place to be and that's their main source of getting you know, a hot meal 
and getting two good meals in the course of a day. So I know where I am. A lot of the restaurants have stepped up and said, listen, while this is going on, if you need help and you can't afford to feed your child during the day and, you know, because you're getting free lunches and breakfasts, that they can bring them into the restaurant and they will feed them for free. And that they can even contact the restaurant in advance to let them know um, that they're coming in so that they won't be embarrassed. Not that anyone should be embarrassed by that. You do what you have to do to feed your kids. I mean, and it's true, a lot of parents, um, especially single parents, they can't take time off of work and they really rely on the kids being in school. That's when they, that's when they go to work and they can't afford daycare. Their kids are too young to be left alone. I mean, if you're in high school, maybe even middle school, if your kids had to stay home, I mean, obviously, if you're in high school, you could stay home. But for the little ones, you know, they can't be left home alone. And it not everybody has uh, parents, you know, that are still living that can take care of the grandkids. Some don't live close by. And it's it's hard, you know, but you want to keep your kids safe. You obviously don't want them in a situation where they could get, you know, sick. So it makes it like really hard because you're going to be in a bad position either way. Because if your kids get sick, then they can't go to school anyways. And then you still have to find someone to watch them and child care or you have to end up calling out of work and then you know most people won't get paid if they don't go to work not everybody gets personal time and vacation days well you may have already used them for something else and now it's like okay you're home and you have no ways of of you know feeding your kids so it's hard right now it's just a really really difficult time but I thought that was really nice of the local businesses a lot of local businesses um wanting to do that um so that these kids would definitely get at least one good hot meal. So I think that's really incredible. All right, guys. So that is one coat of Zen Mascara. <laughs> Zen Mascara. And you can build this mascara up if you want to. You can put, um, you know, you can go in with more than one coat and keep building it. I don't ever do more than one coat. I mean, I'm doing it now just to show you that you can build it without it getting clumpy. But I personally just stick with one coat. I feel like for me, the one coat is more than sufficient for what I like, but it depends. If you want a, you know, a diff more dramatic look, or you like that more, um, like almost like a spidery look, um, you could go in with a second coat. Okay, so that's the Zen Mascara. I don't know which way is the right way. So that's that. So we've used, so far we've used Stay Matte Foundation in number three. We've used our Smoky, um, the Ultimate Smoky Trio Palette, Zen Mascara. I use, today I used this for my primer, the VX, VFX Pro Primer in the Silver Tube. So we used that. Now we're gonna go in with blush. And let's see, I think I'm gonna go in with our Pink Shimmer in number 18. 
because we are going with a smoky and this will give us a built-in um, highlight. And you don't need a lot, guys. A little goes a long way. Okay? And you can see it gives a really pretty shimmer to your cheek. In this way, you don't have to worry about wearing a highlight. You can if you want. You can add a highlight if you want. Um, but I personally don't. And then I just go back in with my powder brush and just make sure that that's all blended really nicely. Okay. So we have blush. We have our eyes done. Now we're going to go in with lips. And I am going to go in with... Let's see, let me decide what I want to wear. I actually think I am going to go in with, I was going to do a red lip, but I think I'm going to go in with 206. I don't know. Do I want red or purple? Hmm. Don't know, guys. Do I want to do red? They both are kind of nice. You know what I'll do? I'm going to do both. I'm going to do the purple one, and then I'll go in with the red for you, and I'll give you two options. So I don't usually line my lips, so I'm not going to. So I'm going to go in with 206. And 206 is like a purpley gray color. It's really pretty. It's actually like my favorite color. That and skin. And then for reds, I love Wild Rose. Okay. So that's 206, guys. So that's what it would look like with 206. And because it has like a grayish undertone, I think it looks really pretty. And you could add a little bit of silver pigment, one of our silver pigments to the middle um, if you wanted to. So that would be the purple. And then let me take that off. And let's see. I love our um, Calendula Cream Balm to take my makeup off. I, it just does such a nice job. You don't need a lot. You just need like a little tiny uh, bit. So I put it on. I rub my lips together. And it takes it off. It's funny because our lips, liquid lips stay on really well. But if you use something like the cream balm, it comes off really easy. So it's really nice. Okay. So now I will go in with, I think I'll do number 10. And this is a really deep, a really deep pretty like a reddish berry color I guess
Now, normally I would have worn a lip liner with this. Okay, guys, that's the... definitely use a lip liner. Don't like a, do like I just did, not use a lip liner. Okay, so that's number 10, guys. Number 10 in our liquid matte. So if you wanted to do a very dramatic look, dramatic eyes, dramatic lips, this would be the perfect combo. And once it dries, it just stays put. Now you could also go with a pink lip if you wanted to. You could go with like something like that, where it would be more of a pinky uh, look. Or if you want it to be really daring <laughs> and out a little bit out there, um, like as far as color wise, you could go with the pink, our Barbie doll pink with the eyes. Um, I'm trying to think of what else color would be good. Um, we also have that pink. Let me swatch that for you. It's a more subdued pink. You could go with that. And then obviously you can go with one of the other reds that we have. Um, or if you want to keep this look really the focus, the eyes be the focus, um, you could go in with tried and true um, skin. So... I mean, we have so many colors, guys, but I mean, you know, the like I said, the gray and the black is neutral. Um, I would personally stick with like either the purple bases or one of the red bases that we have. I just think it looks really pretty, but you could go in with the pink. Like I said, it's whatever you want. There's no, there's no rules, guys. It's whatever you want, whatever you like. That's what you do. There's absolutely no wrong or right ways to do makeup. Makeup is there for you to make yourself happy. Um, it's whatever you like, your style. Some people like a lot of blush. Some people like really um, drawn in and thicker eyebrows. Some people like really thin eyebrows. Some people like a very natural look. Um, some people like more of a glam look for every single day. Um, they don't, they never, you know, they keep it glam all the time. Um, I like a lot more natural, um, looks, but I like the occasional glam, you know, I like to look glam and, um, jazz it up every so often, but, um, you know, and then some people like really dark lips, some people like lighter neutral lips some people don't like any lipstick at all and they just like lip gloss some people don't like eyeshadows they'll just throw on some mascara some lip gloss and some blush and call it a day so it really there are no rules do whatever you want whatever you like whatever makes you happy as long as when you look in the mirror you can smile and be like yeah, i really like this you know i think i look good i feel good and it makes me happy and this looks like my favorite look and and if you have a look that you really like that's like your signature look rock it rock it every day you don't have to change your look every day you can wear the same makeup look every single day or you can experiment and try different looks 
if they don't come out, guys, I got a big secret for you. And you don't even have to worry about it being sold out in the stores. Soap and water. A cleanser. Go in the bathroom and wash it off. Wash it off if you don't like the way it came out. And start over. It's not a big deal, guys. Like, don't freak out about trying new looks. And thinking out of the box. And just have fun. And yeah, I mean, have cleanser on hand, a good cleanser, a good balm cleanser to take your makeup off. Try not to use soap on your face, but I mean, if in a pinch, soap will work. But you get my point. What I'm saying is you can go in and wash it off. It's not permanent. So don't get worked up about it. Don't panic. And honestly, there's a lot of times when you can make a little bit of a mistake somewhere and it's usually fixable without taking it all off. You can usually learn how to correct things and make it work without starting all over again. So, and I do really recommend for any of you that are like me that were used to using cleansing balms, I always used the e.l.f. one. I loved it. It was my all-time favorite cleansing balm. It took takes all your makeup off, your eye makeup off really, really easily. Um, but now, I honestly, this is what I've been using for my eyes. This is what I use to take my eye makeup off. I don't use it on my entire face. Well, I do sometimes. It depends. Like If I have heavy makeup on, I will go in with this first go in, wash my face, and then I'll go in with either the calendula uh, cleanser or my age reverse gel cleanser. And then I will go in, I'll wash my face. Then I'll go in with my tonic. And then I go in with my skincare, whatever moisturizer I'm going to be wearing, um, whether it be in the morning or at night. So it depends when I'm doing, you know, when I'm taking my makeup off. Um, when I start off in the morning, I wash my face with my gel cleanser. I use my age reversed um, skincare and eye cream. That's how I start my day. At night, I go in with this to take off my makeup, my eye makeup. And then if I, like I said, if I have a heavier foundation on, I will take a little bit of this, go in just to get a good, um, a good amount of the product off first and then I'll go in with my calendula cleanser and the tonic and then I'll come in and I will put my calendula face cream and my um uh, eye cream so that's what I do at night um but like I said we have we have so many good products the other thing I've been loving guys is the rose face cream. I really, really like it. I've gotten past the smell of roses. If you saw my other video, know that I am a weirdo and I am probably the only person in America that cannot stand the, the scent of roses. I can't stand it. I don't like it at all. But I've gotten past the scent because it makes my skin feel so good, guys. Like, my skin just feels so good when I use it. So I've gotten past the smell now. And I've really gotten to really like this. Um, I'm trying to find... Let's see. So, at night, this for eyes, the calendula cleanser and tonic. Then I'll come in and I'll put my face cream on. And then I will go in with my eye cream, which is right here. I'll put that on and that's my nighttime routine. Morning routine is the age reverse gel cleanser. And then I'll come in and I'll do my eye cream. And then I will do my um, moisturizer, which I have to open this one. I just ran out and my serum. So this is morning. Okay. Morning, these three products. And then nighttime, these two plus the cleanser and the tonic. And that's what I do. Um, also, guys, if you um, buy the moisturizer, okay, you can get this to come apart. You can pop the top off 
you can get this to come off, okay? Because after a while, the pump's only going to get out as, as much as it can. But guys, there's still so much product left in here. It's crazy. So you can jailbreak this little guy, okay? Jailbreak him and then take any type of brush, okay, that you have a clean, thin brush, clean, okay? And all you have to do is stick it in there, wiggle it around, pull it out, and you'll get a ton of products, guys, ton of product left. This, I mean, this still, you can see, this is all product, guys, all right? It's empty. It looks like it's empty. It doesn't pump out anymore with the top, okay? It won't pump it out anymore, but there's still quite a bit of product. And if you um, bang it on your hands, on the on your hand you can also get product out still like that but once you've banged it and there's no more coming out that way you still have a ton of product take that brush um anything a q-tip a cute cotton swab or a brush and go in and just swirl it around pull it out and all this will be cream that's why it's important that you have to have a clean brush guys and once you do it once take it in the bathroom after you're done and wash it before you use it again, because you don't want to put a dirty brush inside of your moisturizer because of bacteria. And then what you do is just screw it back on and it will stay clean for you, okay? So even if it tips over, nothing's gonna get inside and just cap it back. So good, good thing to remember, guys, there's still tons of products. So don't throw it out. Don't be like, oh, nothing's coming out. I'm pumping. Nothing's coming out. Jailbreak it. And like just the only thing like with the serum, I've never tried to jailbreak the serum. I think you can. Yeah, you can. This comes off. So you can, you can jailbreak it, guys. <laughs> okay, so you take the cover, the screw that part off and then see and then stick your brush in there and you'll get all that extra product out that was in there all of it okay so good thing to remember because our age reversed line is a little bit more expensive especially if you're not getting the 50 percent off by joining you would be paying the retail prices. And I know the serum, I think, is like $40. Um, and I think this is close to $40 for the moisturizer. I don't pay that. I pay 50%. I get 50% off because I'm an influencer. But, um, yeah, so definitely keep that in mind. Don't throw it away thinking, oh, all right. And just get, us, get it all. Get your money's worth. Get it all out of there. You know, why leave it in there and throw it out when you could probably get like four more uses out of it? It's crazy, guys. So don't do that. Jailbreak it, open it, and use it to the last drop. Okay, so I think that was all. So we have our look. Just to recap, VFX Pro Primer, Stay Matte Foundation in number three, Smoky Trio, uh, number 18 for blush. We had our Zen Mascara. And for lips, we did, first we did number 206, which is that smoky grayish purple. And then we went in with number 10 as the second look, which is what's on my lips right now. These are both liquid matte lipsticks, both beautiful, long wearing, they're not drying, they're not uncomfortable. They are just great. Perfect, perfect. Especially if you're someone that's never liked um, liquid matte lipsticks for that reason, because they're so drying that you can't stand to wear them. Try Oz, guys. I really think that you'll like them. I mean, I'm not saying guaranteed, because some people are very, very sensitive to matte liquid lipsticks, but I think that you'll really, really like it. I really do. I don't think you'll find them drying. Now, the last step you could do if you wanted is you could go in with either our Time Lock Setting Spray or the Be Fit Spray, and you can just go in and set your face. And what this will do, guys, too, is it will, if you have any powder um, 
on top of your face. This will smooth everything. It will make everything look very flawless. It'll get everything nice and blended and it will just it just makes your skin look flawless. It just sets everything. It does exactly what it says. It sets your face, it sets your makeup so that it will last for hours and hours and hours. And it smells really nice, it has a really clean smell, guys. So I really like it. Um, both our setting sprays actually smell really good. So that's the look, guys. I hope that you like it. Like I said, don't forget to jailbreak your um your moisturizers and your serum as always guys you can find any of these products on my website at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash charlotte cardoso please guys remember to use my code when you are ordering um it really is necessary in order to have you become a customer of mine, especially if you're looking to join and sign up to my team. You will need my code. Um, you can find that on my Facebook page. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Um, you can message me and I can send you that over through Facebook Messenger. But it's extremely, extremely important, guys, that you please, please, please make sure you have my code, use that code, and um, make sure that when you are checking out or signing up, there is a box that says sponsor code. If my code is not there, you will need to manually input it into the box. And that way you will know. Um, when you go on my website, when you log on to the website through the link, what, whichever way you're using, if you're going directly from my link on my page or going by what I'm telling you, the the address, the web address. When you look at the page at the top in the middle, at the top, it should say you are shopping with Charlotte Cardoso. If you do not see my name up there, it's because you have not reached my link. And if that's the case, just message me and I will send you the link to get you to my web page, okay? Pharmacy has a um, one website that you can log into that will not send you to any influencer. You can order and it's not linked to directly to an influencer. So when you sign up to sell pharmacy, um, you are given a website all made up for you, um, all made up for you with your name and everything. They give you a link, they give you a sponsor code um, so that when people go on there, it, they automatically are shopping with you. But sometimes there are snags, sometimes it doesn't hook, it doesn't connect and you won't end up being on mine. And then if you place an order and you didn't go through me, then I'm not gonna be able to like, I'm not going to know that you ordered, you know what I mean? Because um, I won't see that because it won't have gone through my website. All right, guys, so just to let you know that, keep that in mind. Um, as always, any questions, please feel free to message me. If you want me to do a specific look or there's something that you guys would like to see me do, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do a video on that. Um, so, yeah. So thank you for watching and I will be back midweek with another video and always check my website, check the Facebook page. I update my Facebook page every day. I do post look, I post specials. Um, I believe we are still doing free shipping on orders of $75 and more. That is for customers only. Um, and I usually will post any announcements on there, any giveaways on there on my Facebook page. And then YouTube, I you can find all my videos on YouTube. And I think that's it. So yeah, guys, so enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have an amazing week ahead and stay healthy and stay safe. And I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.